hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest, let's be wrong. This is just the proof. Why be, why be, I wanna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum. The moon landing didn't happen. Oh, sorry, I farted. What? Um, Amber Lynn did not shower the whole time we were at my mom's. The 20 piece McNugget thing, she came back in a video and said that she had not eaten, or I came back and said she didn't eat a 20 piece nugget. She had me say that. She did eat a 20 piece nugget. She really did. Hey Gauls, how you doing? Dusty went live to answer some Q&A from her Instagram. And this was funny as hell, so let's get into it. When you said Amber smelled, was that when you were with her or when she was bleeding? It was when I was with her. I didn't, I guess I noticed it maybe at first, but then after we broke up, my sister was like, you really couldn't smell that? And I was like, I mean, no. You know, it just, she was like, it just was like ass. Did the swamp smell come from the back or the front? <laughs> I said it was swamp ass. So what do you think? <laughs> why doesn't Amber have any friends? Oh, uh, I think we all know why. Is Pookie's food obsession similar to a gorilla's? Sure, I'll give you that one. Do you think you understand nutrition like Amber now? Probably not. I don't know how she understands nutrition. I don't know how, why she has an opinion on it. Oh my God, Dusty is going in. She said Pookie has no right to have an opinion on no damn nutrition. I would be very offended if a 500 pounds woman started crying because of how she couldn't help me lose weight low. If there were a boxing match, Foodie Beauty versus Amber Lynn, who would you bet on? Why would you call it a boxing match? It'd be sumo wrestling. <laughs> That was mean, but it was funny, but it was mean. Y'all say hi to Amberlynn because she's watching. Because <laughs> she texted me. And she swears Dusty is obsessed with her and will say she only saw clips low. Me and Becky do talk about Amberlynn. Do you know the Muffin Man? Who lives under me then? <laughs> yes. Did you find Amber annoying when she tried to make everything about her? I mean, isn't it annoying when anyone tries to make everything about them? Opinions on Becky, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but uh, me and Becky always got along. I don't have anything against Becky. Amber Lynn saying that I've been talking to Dana. I, I had a friendly relationship with Dana until like, what, February? Something like that. that. If that, I think it was January. And she knew about it. Like, yeah, we I only, like, it's not like we were talking to besties every day, like. So Lexus knew about their communication. This makes Bookie Evan worse. But she loves to say that she never acts maliciously. Did you really send Amber Lynn that pic of you, her, and your mother? I did send that to her the, uh, what was it, yesterday or the day before? I think it was the day she might have shown you. It might have been the day before. I don't know. But it popped up on my timeline. I just thought she should see it since she's been talking all about my mom. <laughs> Does Pookie Potato reply to your text? Y'all are crazy making up all these nicknames. She sometimes replies to them. Sometimes, sometimes she doesn't. I don't know. I guess it's how she's feeling. Dusty is a very weird person, though. You were out here exposing her and telling us she smelled like ass. But go and send her a picture. Why? And Pookie was going off on her calling her all kinds of names. Do you think Amber used you for views at times? I definitely think she did. I definitely think she did too. I mean, some of the names of her videos would even be like, I don't know, um, come with me with my ex on a third person date, whatever it was. She came up with some crazy stuff. She definitely did when they were together and even after the breakup. She would put Dusty's name and face on the thumbnail. When is your next video? Um, I know I've been going live a lot. It's because this is a little bit easier than sitting down and recording a video because when I sit down and record a video, I'm having to do a lot of research beforehand. And the year 2017 is a lot of crap. And it's just been a lot of digging and I'm just trying. She better sit down and bring back her notebook because those live streams are very annoying. Was Amber already bleeding during your relationship with her? No. Why did Amber Lynn lie about having two different wifeys? I really don't understand that either. I, I mean, I don't. I don't know. W was it true that you slept with Amber while you were dating Dana? No. Literally, me and Amberlynn broke up the weekend that we broke up. And she said I tried to hook up with someone the very next day. I did not. Um, I got away from her the next day. I literally said it in the video of the breakup video that I just wanted to be away from her. I literally went to my mom's the next day. I went to, like, Goodwill and stuff the next day. And then on Sunday, I hung out with Sharla. Like, Friday broke up, Saturday my mom, Sunday with Sharla. Like, but the following weekend, I can say that we did hook up, me and Amberlynn did, but this was still before me and Dana had started talking. Yeah, Amberlynn just said that to be messy. And why did Pookie sleep with Dusty if she knew she was talking to Dana? Did she ever sit on you? She said she sits on Wipey. No, she did not. <laughs> Amber said you meant she smelled after you broke up because of cancer. Clarify. Um, no. Like, I don't know if she stank when she started having her cancer symptoms. I wasn't around her enough. The year of 2018, I lived in Florida when she started all these symptoms. So I didn't mean she stunk after she got cancer. Like, I don't even know if she did. Like, when we hung out after that, I just meant, like, when... <laughs> Are you laughing? I just meant, like, she, you know, you have swamp ass. After you've worked all day. That's when I knew her, when she was mostly working. Stop going back on what I said, not a good look. What did I go back on? I said she stank. 
But I don't know if she stayed when she had cancer. I was not around her. Pookie was trying to gaslight all of us and especially Dusty. She related the whole stinky situation to her cancer to make people feel bad for joking about it. Dusty made it clear that she was stinky when they were together. It is very clear that someone that size would have a hard time being clean, especially after long hour shifts. Is Amber Lynn's drama affecting your current relationship? Is Amber acting like how you thought? It's not affecting our current relationship, is it? No. I didn't know how she would have responded to this, like, at all. I didn't give her a forewarning that I was doing it. I just did it, because I know if I was like, hey, I'm going to start exposing you on YouTube, she would have been like, how she's reacting now, and you see how she's reacting now, so. Lo Lamberlin never gives people warnings when she is talking about them, so why should Dusty do that? Was it always Amber's way or no way at all? Yes, bitch. What is the most food Amber ate in, one, in front of you in one sitting? I don't know. A, the plate of orange chicken from Cheesecake Factory, I guess. How long after breaking up did you realize it was abusive and how have you healed from it? Uh, now it's taken this long? I don't really know. At what point did you realize you didn't want to be with Amber Lynn? Um, probably like right after she quit her job. I single hand. he says you single-handedly saved the wipey era. <laughs> what has been your biggest area of growth since leaving Amber Lynn? Not letting someone try and be controlling towards me, I guess. She's the last person that acted like that towards me, so. Can you go into detail on, your, on Amber's manipulative behaviors during your relationship, especially with food? Um, I never really had, she like never like got, I mean, she got angry about food sometimes, but that would only be like if I didn't want to go somewhere. And then it would turn into a little, then let's order a pizza or whatever. It may be. I wish Becky would do this instead of Dusty. She has more tea on Amberlynn because Amberlynn was at her worst when she was with Bexter. And she told us that she gets mean when the binge monster appears. Gaslighting was one of the things that she liked to do. Like she'd always, like it would always be like something she was upset about, something she was arguing about but she would turn it around on you like it was your problem. Which advice slash warnings would you give Amberlynn's current slash new girlfriends in regard to how she treated you? Um, I can only hope that she treats people better now, honestly, especially after Becky. Was it awkward remaining friends with Amberlynn so soon after you broke up? It was, but it wasn't because we sh still shared animals and a house. It was awkward when she wanted to hang out with us a lot of the time. It was like, she was like, just always trying to do something with us or, you know, whatever. And then she started hanging out with her friends a lot too. Oh my god, that was probably the most awkward era when she was third wheeling every date Dana and Dusty were on Lowell. Amberlynn said she smelled after y'all were together, I thought it was during- I mean, she smelled both times, but she was saying she only smelled when she had cancer. Like I said, I don't know anything about that. Amberlynn said she'd given you thousands and thousands of dollars, how, how much do you say? I really don't know. Like, and I, I don't know, I'm tired of talking about the money thing, honestly. Like, I don't know what more to say about it. She has directly said that she paid for things for me, I have said that she's paid things for me. I don't have, like, a book I keep up. Oh, Amberlynn gave me money on this day, this day, this day, this day. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it was thousands and thousands of dollars, though. Like, on just me. How much money was Amber making from YouTube when you were together? I mean, maybe a couple grand. It was nothing like what she does now. What happened the night of the party where pants got switched, Dana and Becky? I don't know. <laughs> Amber said you used to call her begging for money. What's your side of that? I did not call her begging for money. She would call and want to hang out, and I would tell her that we had stuff going on and that we couldn't afford it. You know, like, and then she would be like, well, I'll pay. Well, I'll pay. This is what happened and it is crazy how Pookie tried to spin this to the masking for money. She wanted to hang out and paid for their time basically, but she swears it is because she is a giving person though. Can you clarify the claim that Amber says you were making fun of her cancer stink? I, I did not. I was laughing because I literally said swamp ass. That is a funny word. <laughs> did Amberlynn ever disrespect your mom without being provoked? Um, you mean like without my mom starting it to disrespect my mom? I mean, probably. I've noticed that a lot of users or are and babies like to call you Dusty. Just know it says more about them than you. Thank you. I did know that. Lowell, what does it say about us? I call her Dusty because it is funny, and we have nicknames for everyone in Amberverse. It's not that deep. Has Amber changed from when you dated her until now? I would hope so, but clearly with Becky, it was clearly a no. Amber said you've been really mean to her sometimes during Becky era. What's your opinion on that? I mean, I probably was. She's got a bad attitude, and I know how to hash it right back. Did you ever do reaction vids to the time you were with... Will you ever do reaction vids to the time you were with Amberlynn? I'm thinking about it. Look at this. I said I didn't say any of those things, and she said what things, and I said in the chat, and she said, okay, it was a troll, not surprised. But here it is. Look at this. Did Amber had foot fungus? I, I don't know. I think she had athlete's feet when we were together one time, but I don't know. Amberlynn having athlete's foot is stupidly funny. Maybe the wrong shoe foot. In your opinion, have you seen any girls in Amber since you've met her up until now? I wouldn't know how she is now. When me and her had seen each other last, maybe. Do you think Amber blacked out during the code red incident? Apparently, since she does not remember it, it happened. Like I said, the only person that would be a witness to that is my mom. And if I could call her and ask her, y'all know I would, but I cannot, so. Am I mixing the events or what? In this incident, they were living alone, and Dusty wanted to go to her mom, so how would her mom know? 
I totally believe this happened, and Pookie is having selective memory as always. Was April like a mean drunk or a touchy drunk? I'd say she was a touchy drunk and just kind of just like sloppy. Was Peace and Love the 21st birthday shoot was cringe? It was, but it was a good time. How mad was your sister when you did the beat a glitter bomb? She was very mad. And in the video you see us literally vacuuming it all up, so. Did she have to pay people to be her friends and that's why she doesn't have any? Um, I don't know if it was really paying to have them as friends. It was more so paying for everyone to do stuff that she wanted to do. She never could just hang out at home, I swear. Like she wants to say that she paid for everything for me. She also paid for everything she did with Sharla and J Jalissa and Mary and all these people that she hung out with and anyone that she's probably hung out with recently. Again, paying for someone's time because you want to hang out is not heroism. And the fact that she threw it back at her face says a lot about how Gavine Pookie is. Amberlynn always said she wore the wrong shoes. Did she have another pair of shoes than just flats? She had this really old pair of New Balances that needed to be thrown away. And she ended up losing them, I think, at one point. That's the only other pair of shoes she had, so yeah. And then she had those really ugly, like, sketcher-looking shoes that were Walmart brand. I know she had those for a little while. Those were ugly. And I think I told her that. Can you shed light on the time y'all went to Chili's and Walmart while Twinkie was home crippling in pain? I, I don't remember that. I don't know, like, I'm trying to remember why Twinkie would be hurting and why we would just leave her. And... That's why she needs to do reaction videos so that she remembers those things. Twinkie was shaking in pain, and Pookie and they went to Walmart when she was in her scooter looking at pillows, then they went to Chili's to eat. What we do here is go back, 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 back.